Hey guys, Spider-Man Dude here, and today we're looking at this. It's the Safari Limited Ninja Solaris. Now this is the final model from our unboxing video we did last week, and I uh, just wanted to say before we get through the review, thank you so much again to Safari Limited for sending these over. I really appreciate it. The reviews have been great. I've had a lot of fun doing them. So why don't we go ahead and start taking a closer look at this fantastic looking sauropod. Before taking a closer look at this guy, here are a few quick facts about Ninja Solaris itself. It was one of the only sauropods with this configuration of a skull, which was meant for stripping leaves and ferns out of the ground. And it would sway its head side to side, and it could not lift its head above its shoulders, so it would swing its head side to side and find vegetation and pull it up and strip the leaves off of bushes and stuff with its teeth, specialized mouth. All right, so why don't we go ahead and take a closer look. Starting off at the head sculpt, you can see a really nice and scientifically accurate Nijasaurus skull there. I love how the eye is done in the glossy black paint. And I love the color scheme with the olive green and brown and the, the yellowish white underbelly. It's really nice. And then you can see the nostrils there detailed. I don't know if there's any ear detail on this one. I know there's nice creases and folds behind here. Uh, it's probably like right in that area somewhere. You can see in the mouth, nice sculpted tongue. It's hard to see in there, but uh, there is some sculpting and painting on the inside of the mouth. Teeth are really nicely done. Now moving up the neck, you can see some nice folding, creasing, and I like the spikes going up the back, these little like, needle-like spikes. Up at the shoulder area now, move down, you see nice musculature. Down to the foot, you see the toes, very nice. Moving up to the rib cage area, you can actually feel the outline of the rib cage here, which is nicely sculpted and very nicely. Love the color scheme on here still. Moving down the back leg, basically the same as the front leg. See the toes in the back there. Tail. Pretty consistent, pretty straightforward through the entire model here. Nothing too crazy, which is what I like. You can see it goes into a nice whip-like position. Moving around to the other side. See the whip-like tail on the other side. And then moving down. Really nice creases and folds throughout all of the skin. I like how the legs transition from this olive green into this brown color. That looks really nice. You can see the rib cage, and the skin stretching across the rib cage there. Really nice. And you can see the front leg bent forward. Very nice. Down the neck again. And the side's a little bit more stretched than that one. And back up to that beautiful head sculpt we saw earlier. Alright, so just how big is this guy? Let's get out our trusty ruler. And we're looking at about eight and a half inches long and at its tallest point. In terms of the height, we're looking at about three and a half inches. Alright guys, well that was today's look at the Safari Limited Ninja Source. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little adventure of looking at the Safari Limited figures and thank you so much to everyone from Safari Limited, especially Yasmin for making this possible again. All the other reviews are in the link below as well as the unboxing. This is the final figure of the five that we've received. Anyway guys, thank you so much and leave it some comments on what you would like me to and what you would like to see me review next. And always rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.